Before Hurricane Katrina hit, I was working at Memorial Baptist Hospital on Napoleon Avenue in New Orleans, working in the NICU with the premature babies. We had already, the night before the storm, on the 28th, moved infants from one side of the nursery to a inner room, which was a surgery suite to protect them from wind and um, any window exposure. I have pictures showing me as early as 12 noon that water was already up to the bumpers outside of the hospital. We didn't know if it was going to rise and fall. And we continued that night, Monday night, to care for the babies and they started planning evacuations on Tuesday. The engineering guys led us through a back hallway through industrial machines. And when we came to a wall, there was a hole in the wall. It was bricks had been removed and on the other side of the hole in the wall was a man waiting one of the nurse practitioners waiting and they had a truck so we began to pass our babies through the hole to the nurse practitioner and the man on the other side at that point it was very hard because now this these infants that we've cared so long for you're putting them in the back of a truck bed but this is the only route to get to the heliport. One mom did contact me on Facebook. She said, no, you just don't know. You do not understand what you did for me. You kept me steadfast in knowing that my baby was going to be all right and he's all right. If I had been in the situation that our families were in during Hurricane Katrina, either in the newborn nursery or the NICU, I would have screamed from the mountaintops that I needed Nurse Medea to be the person to take care of my child. My name is Medea Gabriel. I'm a resident of New Orleans and I'm a Hurricane Katrina survivor.